Hello English learners, hello YouTube, welcome to my channel. Today I've got a vocabulary lesson for you and it's going to be a confusing one. So I've got 10 words that are all very, very similar, but I'm going to try to help you understand how you can use them confidently and of course correctly. So you might be able to tell I'm squinting a bit now because it's a bit bright. Ah, that's better. It's a bit bright outside, so I'm squinting. So this is our first word, and this is a bit different because it's a verb. To squint is when your eyes close a bit like that because it's too bright, like squinting, what is it? I can't see. I'll be squinting at you today and trying to go through the other nine words. So first word, very simple, very common, bright. Bright is the easiest one, and it's simply when there's too much light for your eyes. Something is very bright. So, ah, I can't see. Too bright. No, too bright. The next ones are going to be adjectives. And the first one is shining. Shining. Shining just refers to something that is reflecting bright light. We often use it for the sun. The sun is shining. It's giving off light. The sunlight is shining off the water. The light is shining off your bald head. Something like that, shining. The next ones are a little bit more specific, a bit harder. We've got flickering, flickering. This could be a verb to flicker. And let me show you using my phone. The light goes on and off. So you could say it's flickering. Although usually it's a bit faster than that. So to, to flicker is to, when a light goes on and off. Flickering describes something like that. It could be the light in your room flickering. Perhaps you need a new light bulb. Could be a candle flickering. It's not quite going off, but it's almost going off. It's getting brighter and darker. That flicker of a candle. The next word is glistening. Glistening. Glistening is used for something that is shining with a bright sparkling light. Got another word, sparkle, we'll come to that in a minute. It's often used for water. When you look at water on a sunny day, it glistens like a diamond. So we use it for diamonds, crystals, water, glistening, even teeth. If your teeth are really clean, you can have glistening teeth. Like when the sun shines, it goes ding, glistens. Next word is shimmering. The verb is to shimmer. The adjective is shimmering. Shimmering is shining with a soft light. It's quite similar to glisten. Glisten's much stronger. To shimmer is more gentle. So a very gentle fire, like a distant campfire or the moonlight on the water. We can say the moonlight is shimmering on the surface of the water. So to shimmer, I would say is a much softer light. To sparkle, as I said before, is very similar to glisten, very similar. I know it's getting confusing, but try to bear with me. And don't forget, I'll include all of these words in the description below too. To sparkle is to shine brightly with flashes of light. We often use it for stars, like that star is sparkling in the sky, that's possible. Um, a sparkle in your eyes, like very bright, sparkling eyes, again, a bit like a diamond. Sparkle is used more about something that gives light, sparkling light. Glisten is more about a reflection. So sunlight reflecting into a diamond, the diamond is glistening, but the diamond is not, is not the source of the light. A small difference there. Next one is twinkle. You may know this from twinkle, twinkle, little star, the nursery rhyme. Twinkle, just to keep things simple, it's really the same as sparkle. There isn't much difference. Perhaps twinkle is a bit softer. Sparkle is a bit like uh, bright. Twinkle is more gentle again. And of course, we usually use it with stars, a twinkling star. We don't use the word twinkle for many things, mostly for stars. So that might make that one a bit easier to remember too. The last adjective is gleaming. The verb is to gleam. The adjective is gleaming. This one again means to shine brightly. It's often used with emotion though. This one's an interesting one. So we say, 
he was gleaming with joy or his face was gleaming. That means he was so happy. It was like he was shining from his face. Uh, we can use it for like a shiny surface. Like he cleaned the car so well it was gleaming. So a shiny surface is possible, but usually for emotion, gleaming with joy, gleaming with excitement. So it's the same meaning as the others, but used in a different way. And the final word is a noun, and that's glint, a glint. So a glint is a small flash of reflected light. And this is often in the eyes as well. So a glint in your eye might mean you're like attracted to someone. You can have a, a sparkle in your eye. Or perhaps you saw a glint of light on the horizon, just a flash of light. Flash and glint are quite similar. Um, but there we go. That's, I know it's very confusing. So we've got bright, shining, flickering, glistening, shimmering, sparkle, twinkle, gleam, glint, and squint. Oh, so many, right? I'm going to do my best to write these up in the description. Hopefully it's clear. There's a lot of crossover. So if you use a different one, it probably still makes sense, but there's a small difference between some of them. My challenge to you is to leave a comment and use as many as you can. If you use them more naturally, I will give you five imaginary golden stars. I'll be very impressed. But hopefully you learned something new. I hope it was comprehensible and thank you for watching. I hope you're gleaming after that video and you're not too tired. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.